كنت صفر كيف تخوشي لالي لالي again with urban legends halloween series on fallen hour radio i'm aaron with after horizons with wheezy from after horizons marcus and seadale from fallen hour and we are talking about water spirits and stick indians tonight who's gonna kick us off here i think you are <laughs> i am since you're already talking i didn't bring my notes over here <laughs> You got um, notes? Yeah, I totally he took totally notes. He totally wrote really notes. Like, you got to bring homework. those. I did Why did you bring those? <laughs> I got busy setting shit up. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't want to look like Tom Tucker. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tom Tucker. Well, I, I, think we should, I think we should start with water spirits, just because it's pretty limited. It's going to be kind of a short one. Yeah. And, and we, can, we can talk about stick onions for a little while, I think. Yeah, that's true. Okay, when I was looking into water spirits, there was almost nothing that I could find. <laughs> like really, really, the, I mean, the only... The next segment. <laughs> yeah, next segment. Um, yeah, the only, the only stuff I could find was just um, some native tribes out of Canada talking about how water is like the spirit of life. Mm -hmm. Makes crops grow, allows us to live. It, it, it's everything. And that was... That was it. Basically, like and, everything it summed up to be. Yeah. You're saying. Yeah. Oh, okay. And because in like the the whole dialogue and stuff, he was he was walking on the riverbank and talking about how we need to protect it because it is the spirit and all this other stuff. So there wasn't any like Halloween creatures or anything spooky kind of associated Halloween with creatures. it. It was just it like was just any the, like yeah, the, it was yeah. just the importance the importance of the spirit of the water and how it provides life and everything we need. So that's my answer. So nothing Halloweeny is no, what you're saying. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, see, was, that I was like, say. man, it goes back to the to, Native American cover-up. Yeah, yeah, I need to go join a <laughs> protest or something. So now we're going to Stick Indians. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think that because it was so sacred to like Canadians and all these other Native tribes, that is that the reason there's nothing on? You can I search don't think on the it's internet. just sacred to Canadians in general. <laughs> Is the way he worded well, that? I, I, mean, I was like, I get, I get what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> Marcus is being a sassy ass tonight. I um, am, but, <laughs> but no, I'm just saying. I'm no, just yeah, saying. no, I, I get what. Yeah, because it was, it was really when I when I was looking into it, it was, it was really. I mean, it wasn't that it was hidden. There just wasn't anything there. Um, it was, it was. I couldn't. Find I found a plethora well, of things, but you're it's a just computer guy. So. <laughs> it's more so like I, words. I was, I was working on a encyclopedia. <laughs> a lot of big words. <laughs> yeah, a lot of really like tribes I, I've never um, really looked into. So like, they're like actual words that I I do not know how to pronounce. Oh, dude, I really so want you to just, try it. Just, <laughs> I don't <laughs> make me do that. <laughs> don't make me do that. Well, let's hear Marcus's uh, cornucopia of No, we, we already agreed in this process. <laughs> since I talk a, a lot and I talk so much, <laughs> this one is on you guys. Uh, I'll jump in uh, and out. 
jump in and out. All right. Well, I'll, I'll hopscotch. <laughs> jump in. Water spirit. So, all right. So let's 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 hear you guys. You guys on this the subject. Well, the the only water spirit uh, I found on well, there was two of them. There was Swamp Woman, that was like a Canadian tribe too, and uh, she's pretty much like the Native American La Llorona. Which I said that, whatever, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> but, I, love, uh, I love hearing you guys pronounce that. <laughs> what, what she does is uh, uh, she takes children or whatever, like people hear her crying, just like the same thing. And uh, she like goes after children because she she never had children, which is different from the La Llorona story. She La never, Rona. yeah, she never had children, so she preys on children because she's lonely and she wants their company or whatever but so she couldn't have children so she takes other people's children yeah pretty much that's messed up <laughs> that is that is, wow <laughs> what's interesting about that marcus <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was just saying that's, yeah all right. mock mock is this are you just gonna mock me this entire podcast <laughs> we might we might well and then to a strong start oh, right. yeah you guys are i'll tell you that there well, is plenty of freaking different cultures who have water spirits that I just found on Okay, Mr. Wikipedia, Wikipedia. let's f- <laughs> let's wiki that shit. We have Celtic uh is that German? It's Germanic. Germanic. Which is German, yeah. Ancient Greek, Japanese. I don't even know how to pronounce that one. Uh Mesoamerican. Meso, there you go. Thank you there, Weezy. Mesoamerican. Or Mesoamerican, wherever you want. Meso. Oceanic, Meso- Roman, Italian. Slavic, Thai, and references. <laughs> oh, God. Let's go, with references. Let's go with the African. <laughs> Let's have what's some, what's someone else read this. Oh, my God. Really? There's really a lot of big words in here. <laughs> So I th- I think you had something too. You were saying something about he just um, didn't want to try. <laughs> did he? he did not. <laughs> Weezy had something about water babies, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I came across that, but I didn't actually get a chance to look into that. So yeah, what is that exactly? I heard like two different stories about like uh, their spirits in the water that uh, take on the form of like a baby and they like cry to lure people over. Oh wow! Right. And then like. Uh, it's always like towards night or dusk, and then when they lure you to the water, they freaking grab you and like drag you in and. Oh, you. that's ugly. It's I pretty much one story. That, that's pretty ugly. <laughs> Sorry, that <laughs> is wow. Yeah. Because knowing me, creepy. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, <laughs> there's a surprise <laughs> baby, there's a baby in there. I'm gonna be putting a baby. <laughs> 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 That's not what I meant. I, just saying, like, I mean, knowing me, I'm gonna try to help. Not football kick a baby. <laughs> You're literally just asking for backlash comments. <laughs> Uh, I've been up for a while. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay. He's, he's native. <laughs> 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 Uh, horrible. I've got a CIB uh, and everything. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> but yet, <laughs> these, these babies are crying and it lures people to the edge of the river. So they mimic a, like baby cries? Or? Mimic baby cries and sometimes they're formed. So they look like a toddler or something oh, in that's, the water. That's, that's creepy, man. So and was there actually like real accounts of people seeing these so things? Yeah, I'm gonna be yeah there was... Uh, <laughs> Getting to that other story I heard, it was kind of different. It was uh, it was one like these elders were telling these people they're like camping pretty close to the river, not to like go wash their clothes towards the dark, and if you do, like take a bunch of people with you. And this lady, she uh, decided to just go alone, and she had her baby with her. She had a baby, and it was in like uh, the cradle board, you know. Yeah. And she like propped it up against the tree. It was like washing clothes. And uh, heard a baby crying, <laughs> which I think is kind of irresponsible because she leaves the baby there, like oh, propped geez. up against the tree, and then she like goes around the bend of the river to like see where this baby's crying from, and while oh she's God, yeah. on the other side of the river, one of the water babies comes up, eats her baby whole, oh, then climbs into the uh, cradle board, and uh, she comes back and her baby's crying now, and she can't hear the other one, and. Uh, when uh, she goes to feed it or whatever, it like eats her breath 
Whoa. Whoa. And then, like, later on, her husband's like, oh, like, uh, she's still down by the river or whatever. And so they, like, go down there and, like, find her with the cradleboard still on her chest. Ugh. And no baby in the cradleboard no more. That so is it, ugly. like, ate her baby and then, like, fucking ate her, too. And then, like, dipped out. Wow. It's almost like, like a changeling type exactly. situation. Yeah. Ugh, that's ugly. That is. That, that's ugly. That's to, exactly that is like ugly a changeling to picture, story. man. That is. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I heard about it. Some two accounts or whatever. What do you got? What about you, blunders? <laughs> the stick Indians are... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even want to get into it. Like, everything I found, do you want me to start talking? Because apparently when I start talking, I never shut the fuck up, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let's set a timer for Marcus. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll let Wheezy be the judge and get you with finger <laughs> All right, just... <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> As I'm counting the popcorn in the ceiling. <laughs> How far did you get? Right, Two last hours last later. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't jump too far into it, because a lot of them I cannot pronounce. Mm-hmm. But I found like a bunch of different um, tribes have a lot of similarities in their stories, and which is kind of almost said interesting. interesting. <laughs> curious. We need to get you saying. Yeah, curious. curious. It's very curious because <laughs> I say interesting too damn much. Is um, they a lot of them are um, they consider like serpent looking, like they look like serpents in the water. And you know they, that's they funny do, they, because. Uh, uh, in that water baby one, sometimes they say they look reptilian. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. So. All right. So, yeah, maybe I did kind of stumble upon that. But they said they, like, a lot of them have horns. And they, they do. They, they prey on children, mostly. And, like, not just, you know, like, you know, you, if they can get a child, that's usually what they shoot for. They'll try to pull them into the water. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, there's the yeah, other. And, yeah, you're right. Eat them, basically. They right. kind of feed on them. And, like, you know, I found a lot of other ones that, that, like, a lot of, like, water gods, they call them. Water gods, water spirits, you know, water serpents. And even um, what we call mermaids, they called, like, water people. Right. Or halfway people, they called them. They're, like, you know, half fish, half man, or either they're full, basically full man or full woman, but they're just called water people. So that's basically all I found, but it's just, like, Every every tribe that I stumbled upon, they they all had like the same exact story, pretty much. Right. So it's kind of hard like to name play. different though. Yeah, just just different names. That's pretty much it. So not a lot, like yeah, not a lot to get into. But I remember walking, you know, when I was really young, I was walking with one of my uncles, and uh, I remember I picked up a rock and I was gonna throw it into the water, and he stopped me, like he literally grabbed my arm and told me, "Don't do that." And I was like. Don't disturb the water. Yeah, he's like, well, so why? And he said, you know, he started to talk. You know, he's like, well, he's like, I'll tell you later. And I just told him, well, I want to know, you know, I just, just tell me now. And we have a long walk to go. And he just said, well, right when he started talking, a car pulled up and picked us up. And I never, ever knew why. Like, you know, he never got got the chance to tell me. And I mean, there's other stories, but that was the one that was kind of like, that made me really curious. You know, like, why? Why don't you talk about this? Why don't you want to talk about it? But he just said, I want to talk about it right now. You know, he was like, he seemed kind of creeped out. You know, he didn't want to talk yeah. about it. Well, wait till we get home, he said. So I was like, all right, <laughs> right Ooh, there. Funny. But <laughs> Ooh, yeah, so that's kind of how it was for me. That. Was there a thing where you're not supposed to whistle by the river too? Along with like not throwing rocks in the river? He like just said like, you know, there's a lot of things you're not supposed to do by the river at night. And that was one of them is you're not supposed to throw anything in... <laughs> Continue. So you're gonna flick it over there, but you're gonna snap it by the. <laughs> I had to flick it over here too. I was trying to be polite at first. I was, I was fucking with you last time. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, I remember. Um, switch to matches. There was another time, <laughs> like another story. <laughs> Go on. Let right? me guess. We're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> That's fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Super. <laughs> You're going to hear him slurp that thing now. <laughs> I, was, yeah, I was kind of worried about the ice. It's like once that camera turns on, you guys turn into total dicks. <laughs> you, know what? you turned into a real wiener head. I was going to get the headphones on. <laughs> yeah, I did. But yeah, like I remember there was one time we were walking, we were fishing like really late at night. 
they were walking home and I remember um, one of my I remember asking that question you know why don't you throw things in the water at night and one of my friends was being a smart ass and he picked up a rock and threw it in the water oh, geez. and he like chucked it like the water was a ways away and I remember um, something came flying back it looked like something threw something back out of the water at him like trying to hit him with the same rock almost and he was like, I mean, I don't know, like, it was the same rock, but it was the same. Some started throwing something back at him, and he, like, he started running. Like, he got creeped out, because this was, like, like 1 o'clock in the morning when we were finally walking home. And, uh, yeah, ever since then, I was always kind of wondering it. Like, not every day. But I'm just saying, like, that yeah. always kind of came up. Like, I was like, I was wondering. Why every time I'm in the shower, like, why? I think like, of it. Why was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's just weird. Like, it's weird to think about, like, why? Like, why don't they ever really talk about that? The only like, thing I, I heard still, growing up was is just if you hear a baby crying by the river, you don't go near it. And now we know why. And then, <laughs> they, but the thing I heard about them and was uh, one of our good friends, our brothers even, or Merville. Uh -huh. He was telling me that his family oh, was telling him too right. that, yeah, we'll be saying that. Thank you, there, Wheezy. <laughs> he was telling me that the same thing. It was if you hear a baby crying by the river, you don't go near it, especially at night because they'll take you. So it wasn't. It wasn't just. Uh, its attention wasn't just towards babies, it was actually towards anybody who would go near these things. Right. Yeah, that's a story I heard too, just anybody that goes by the river, oh, where are you in? So it's like if you if you go there to save the baby, or save whatever's crying down there, then you're going to be taken. Right. Like and it's an it sort of thing. And it isn't uh, just like, uh, it isn't just rivers, they say it's like ponds, rivers, and like, it's like so any, any water source. body of water, yeah. basically. Okay. Yeah, because that was kind of like, Kind of almost a hard one to but research. But it, it doesn't seem like it's, especially since reading like Wikipedia, it's like not just a native thing. It's everything rooted in other cultures too, like Africans and Celtics. It's all, it's rooted in all their, I think especially it's going to be in Celtic. Right, the changeling, ain't that a Celtic myth? I'm not sure. I'm like, pretty sure it's a like a Celtic myth or an Irish myth or something. Irish, yeah. Yeah. yeah no, yeah, you're right. Okay. And Yeah, uh, that is like one of their main things i think that's kind of like the same thing as the water babies they like they mimic they like eat your baby or something and then like mimic their form that except is... for with the changelings you can keep taking care of them until they're grown and shit yeah they basically take their place yeah so do you think it's possible that if they were to eat these babies or and things like that they, they'll mimic those babies that they've taken yeah these, oh, they you know what i mean use that voice that yeah they mimic them yeah it said like uh well I don't know how they could have proved it, telling the story or whatever, but they said that after the water baby ate that other baby, that it looked like the other baby. Oh, interesting. And that's why the mom, like, went to feed it without, like... So, like, took on know, its form. To yeah. look just like it. Wow. That's, that's really creepy to think about. Yeah. It is. It is. But, yeah, like, what I found was... Are you even Marcus, or are you a water <laughs> baby? <laughs> Oh, no, if I He's a water baby. He cries a lot. Shut <laughs> <up>. <laughs> See, that's what I mean right there. Can you pronounce well, a lot of those? Halfway people. Halfway. Ooh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> written, written out in English, yeah, yeah. you can pronounce it. <laughs> you said any true tiger, underwater <laughs> panther. Come on, these are rolling in. Water babies right there on the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Western tribes. With, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think it was like the Salish tribes were talking mm. about water baby, and uh, the like Navajo people. Mm. Like uh, it was some tribe in like Utah or whatever, uh -huh. which is funny. Skinwalkers, Utah, freaking. Oh, same yeah, with like the Navajo. Right, yeah. I think they said something about it. So it's kind of like this whole western side of the states. Yeah, like everything I found was just that there were like serpent looking like creatures that would lure people into the water that's that's all i found either that or i'm um, just <laughs> i didn't even do anything this time i didn't even do anything <laughs> just like watch he was just agreeing with you with his nods <laughs> <laughs> he still kept moving so do you think that these water spirits could be accounted for for things that people are setting in the water that are serpents like did you ever hear of ogopogo 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 i've heard ogopogo it is like a water serpent and it has, um, I think one guy finally caught it on camera. Like, his, his son was swimming in the water, and they keep saying, they keep seeing this weird, like, water serpent looking thing. And finally, this guy was, you know, filming his kid, and it just started swimming through the water. 
like behind him like a ways away but it was swimming through the water and it had legs like all down its body like a centipede almost like a centipede <laughs> uh, where and where is this i think it was canada actually because isn't there a lake monster in the flathead lake up there around Salish country? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're supposed yeah. to be Who's like that? another Nessie yeah. or something. Yeah. Okay. And they got like a soda pop that's made up there named after it, and it's got some goofy name. Really? Yeah. Oh, I got to check that out. There's your phone. Go ahead, dig in your new iPhone. How? <laughs> oh, my God. How? <laughs> Such oh a beautiful God. iPhone. I think it's fucking Ooh, gorgeous. Uh, Ooh, ah. <laughs> This podcast was not sponsored by... Flash it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> is or Marble, or Pepsi, <laughs> or Rockstar. <laughs> or Caution Tape. Or Zippo. Or Dust Eckies. <laughs> <laughs> not in frame. In <laughs> it is oh, sponsored yeah. out here by, by Titty Sweat. <laughs> and Finger Guns. And, and Finger Guns. guns. <laughs> Shoot McGavin. <laughs> God. <laughs> it is rooted in other cultures, and I think that even I was reading about the African cultures, they deem it a deity. So it's like almost like a god to them. And it didn't have anything too, too much to say about like what the urban legends on it, it's just that it was a deity. And so even researching their cultures, it's like, it's all vague. So what if it's like, this is like the urban legends of urban legends, like nobody talks about this stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. One of the bad things is everybody, like in a tribal sense, has storytellers, so they tell it by stories instead of like documenting it yeah. at, as written or video or anything. Like I said a million times in this uh, <laughs> this uh, series, that's how the Native Americans. Well, yeah, we we got that. But what, he, what, what, he, but it, what he was driving at is how many t- how many times have different people told the same story a different way? Just because yeah, it was it's almost like that telephone yeah. game where you say it in somebody's right. ear and that yeah. person yeah. that. But how is it possible that's that it reached so many cultures around the world? Yeah. Uh, is it possible? Water's spooky. Like, know. is it possible that? <laughs> is it like? Is it getting to like Pangea. the? Is it like getting to like the mother nature thing? Like every culture has like this mother nature rooted inside their culture, so they deem certain things spirits, mm-hmm. and anything that comes out of those things spirits, and then they just basically deem those like deities or any like anything that comes out of those, the stories and the spirits. Yeah. So it's like something you don't talk about unless a storyteller tells them, or right. nothing well, you talk you, about it until you, you gotta, talk about it. If you look at look at the kind of the level of understanding of people at the time when these stories and what were um, came up with and founded or whatever, um, and as far as they, they didn't have science and that kind of thing, you know what I mean? Even in Europe, until the Romans moved into Europe, it was like the Americas, just mm-hmm. tribal people running around yeah. in villages and migrating. Yeah. So I mean, they had to find some way to explain things, you know what I mean? And. Like if you didn't know, gonna, make gonna, it up. It, well, I mean, and, and you know, the I, I don't want to sound like I'm taking a shot at religion or spirituality or anything, but that's an easy way to explain stuff you can't yeah. explain. <clears throat> and that's how it has been throughout mm-hmm. culture. Like if you can't explain it, then it usually goes to mm-hmm. religion or mm-hmm. just some other way to to explain it. Especially when you didn't have science back then. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what I just said. <laughs> yeah. So we just reworded so, uh, it. So make him smith some recapping like on our <laughs> <laughs> Good try there, Sidel. I'm just trying to drag out the minute so he gets to stick he's it. Trying to take, <laughs> he's trying to take credit for what you just said. I, I got him. I got him. <laughs> I see you and I raise you. <laughs> well, I guess we'll reach out to yeah, um, raise you a mic because yeah. this this. This um, water spirits was Zach's original idea. Yeah, and I think that if we were to get his <laughs> input on it, I think it would lend more, credi- well, more credibility to what, why, we're, what, why we're doing yeah. it. Right? Like, yeah, I want, yeah I'm interested. And then, like when I was looking looking into it, I was looking for like, North American tribes kind of thing. Yeah, you know, and I didn't find very much. Like this website that you found, I didn't find it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I was um, I moved pretty quickly from water spirits. Like, well, I'll come back to this, and then got stuck on stick Indians. Yeah, see, like all oh. the ones, all the ones I found are like this one, like Lampaguin. Is there, there, I, I believe is how you pronounce it. Or right there, Lampaguin, and they're just like literally like mermaids, is the way they uh, describe them. Like they're like half human, half fish looking things, and they, uh, yeah, that's basically what it is. 
or they're like mermaid looking people or there's like serpents like with horns that will literally take your children and eat, eat them. Eat your baby. Yeah. Or or um water gods. 